Okay, so my friends, it's Lou Martin here. This is Awakened Spirits Network. To know him is to love him. Brother Anthony J. Rodriguez, Walking Crow from the Holy, Holy Lands of Sedona. How are you doing, my friend? I am doing great, Lou. Just uh, loving life, loving and living life, I hope. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, thank you for taking the time. And we've just been, uh, you know, catching up here. And, uh, you know, as I said, I it's... it's um, you know, Lauren Standing Elk uh, was was a big inspiration to me. I think we, you and I chatted maybe in August, July, somewhere in there over the summer. Yeah. yeah. And um, we were he had just passed over then. And I was mentioning to you that um, uh, synchronistically, as, as I was getting ready to get on here today, we we're talking about your men's group. And I want to hear more about that and have you share about that. Um, that Robert Bly, uh, the poet and men's group leader, 94 years of age, uh, just passed over as well. So here's you and I, a couple young Turks, you know, right. trying to make trying to make our reputation in the healing world. And there's uh, brother Robert Bly and brother uh, brother Lawrence F. Here, Standing Elk, uh, looking yeah. after us. So you know, there, speaking <laughs> of poets, I'm a, I'm a poet, and I became a poet in 1989. Okay. I, I, I'm a poet and didn't know it in 1989. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And uh, I wrote a line. I lived in Laurel Canyon for quite some time. Yeah. And um, when I lived there, I would go outside in the autumn and listen to the wind and the rustling leaves and the coyotes and such. Am, am I? Is my? Am I? Uh, feed, feeding back? By the way. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. I'm just just, checking, just checking. Um, yeah, you're good. And there was a poem that I wrote. Um, and there's a line from the poem. And here in Sedona, I do. Uh, at the Skyrock, and I do a moon a fire, moon a full moon fire ceremony every yeah. month, yeah. and I have everybody look after they offer their intentions to the fire with tobacco. I have them sit quietly, look into the sky at the stars, and there's a poem, a part of the poem that I use, and I never thought I would do this, and I would say, okay. um, the. Um, your eyes do shine up in the sky like beads of pearls and smiles mine. And I have them just look at what's looking back at them. And I say that to them. And I don't know what effect it has on them whatsoever, but it has an effect on my heart because yeah. I've been carrying that for 20, over 30 years. Yeah. You know? yeah. And yeah, yeah. I never thought that uh, it would matter to me, really. Uh, if right. you think about it, you know, who cares about the writings of a, a barely sober young guy? <laughs> well, well, it's beautiful. It's beautiful words. And you're you're very good with words, my friend. I'm not surprised that you you're writing poetry. I've written poetry as well. And when I do morning prayers, uh, we I often am reading other people's uh, poetry, etc. And sometimes my own. If you have anything else you want to share with us, you're very, very welcome now or in the future. You know, thank you. Lawrence yeah. was. Uh, we were talking about him. Um, yeah. And uh, I met him in in Blythe, California, at this at at, at an event uh, right. that I was told that I had to go to by uh, Gentle Thunder in in Maui. Uh, she okay. was coming and she was going to buy a drum for me, and she said, "You have to be there. How many okay. drums do you have?" And I I scraped up as enough enough money to get there, and at the time I wasn't doing so great. Okay. But I asked my audience, my listening audience, mm -hmm. would you donate, you know, a 10, 5, 10 bucks, 20 bucks so I can get there? They they yeah. they, they came up with 200 bucks, and Beautiful. I'm grateful for that. That $200 and that asking, that willingness to ask changed my life. I met my, yeah. my landlord oh. there. I met Lauren there. Right. I met this whole tribe of people who are now my tribe. We don't all right. think and feel the same. That's okay. But we were there for a common reason. And in the yes. common unity of the community is what I'm all about, really. Right. What's right happening on. within the community. And yep. um, I heard Lauren speak. I heard, heard him sing. I heard him jam out with some other guys and you know, <laughs> sit around listening, you know. And right. uh, I was a fly on the wall, and I was glad that I was that fly, that piece of medicine on the wall. Yeah. And I was receiving, receiving, receiving. And, you know, he, he's gone since August, but 
his influence hasn't gone away. You know, I said this earlier too, before we went on air, I mean, his body of work, I didn't know how big his body of work actually is. Yeah. And, and I hope that I can, um, not so much mirror it, but have the same effect on a, on the, on the landscape of, of the world, if yeah. not the universe yeah. and the spiritual world that, that they, they would say, you know what? That guy was all right. <laughs> you know, that's it. Yeah. That guy was all right. You know? Well, let me, let me support that. Uh, let me support that Anthony, because this is, I think part of the draw of uh, chatting again with you. And as I said, I, I was feeling, um, uh, you know, last time we talked, uh, I wanted to keep this conversation uh, a bit more active. So as I, as I said earlier, I'm so glad to, uh, to, to get back with you here. Um, I just feel brother that that, you know, everyone I'm listening to and my own, my own inner guidance, you know, which is how we always have to balance things, you know, the inner and the outer, but, um, you know, huge changes appear to be on the horizon energetically for uh for the world in in general and yeah. you know what uh like interesting um you know uh we're meeting lauren getting to know him a little bit over over a few few occasions you know and uh being tremendously inspired by him his courage his humor his humility uh you know and his wisdom 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 uh everything i think that he did you know, he, he was checking with himself. Is this proper? Is this okay? Is this, am I all right with this? You know, does Amen. this feel right? And, um, he, you know, and he kept us all on track when you were hanging out with this guy, you were, you were, you know, <laughs> you were respectful of, of what was being offered. And, uh, you know, it was a, it was an empower, empowering lesson for me, especially, uh, you know, living for, um, several decades without my without a dad you know and and uh and so here comes uh, robert bly as well you know what um what bly uh, taught us in his men's circles and his, his uh, poetry was the same respect for the elders you know and now you and i got a little snow on the roof at this point you know as we say and it's like a different story you know uh we're carrying something uh, that they were very good at sharing with the world, both of these master teachers, you know, right. and as we're saying here, we're, we're um, walking in their footsteps and uh, we're striving to, uh, to bring some of that light and some of that wisdom to the world. But both of these guys, uh, you know, as I said, it was, it was synchronous for me that you and I are talking today and this oh, yeah. is when I hear about Bly's passing and uh, last time it was Lauren. So, you know, there's just some big circle happening with all of this. And uh, right. I'm just saying, I feel the world is, is going to need, you know, very much uh, the Red Road and the, the wisdom that, that you carry and that, uh, you know, is available to everyone if we, if we will pay attention, you know, and learn from each other. You know, I was the last person that I th ever thought would be sitting in this chair, <laughs> speaking the way that I do about the divine right. feminine, divine masculine, Right. Giving to the world things that I at one time knew nothing. Maybe I knew they were there, but the, it, the walking crow within, right? At five uh -huh. years old, that was uh, assaulted out of me in Catholic right. school. They, right. they they made me Anthony J. Rodriguez. I don't I don't believe in that name. That's the colonized okay. name. And, okay. Um, Thank you. Yeah. So I'll call you Walking Crow then. Uh, yeah. And yeah. Um, thank you. And, uh, you know, here in, in, in Sedona and around the world, I teach, I did a class um, on uh, uh, Bava Mission uh, for ladies last Friday called oh. uh, Healing healing the Language of Lack and Lineage. Great. Uh -huh. yes. And, you know, a lot, a lot of people here of color live that way for a long time until they find somebody like me and I, I start moving them towards the center. Yeah. Well, yeah. I speak of, I spoke of last week, uh, and you're in Ireland, so it's a good example of yeah. the turn of the century and the, the potato famine sure. and, and yeah. how we're all affected by colonization. Right, right, Even the right. colonizers. Yeah, yeah. Seemingly, yeah. right, seemingly. And yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, I have a lot of Irish brethren, and I'm part Irish. And right. during the potato famine, there was nothing. There was no potato famine. Uh, the, right. the crown was creating famine and starving out the people, and they came yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, 
You know, there, there's such a there's such a relation with the Irish, with the Celts, and the the native peoples here. And yeah. um, uh, and I remind people, uh -huh. colonization isn't just about being brown or being down or being black. No, everybody was affected, even the colonizer. Where was yeah. the low self esteem that they had? Where did that come from? That they yeah. felt they had to stomp on the on the rest of humanity. Sure, man. You know? sure. And um, yeah. Guys, guys like you, guys like me, guys like Lauren, guys like um, uh, uh, well, people like us, we go around saying what we say, and we don't realize the healing that we're um, that we're giving the world, and it, you know, we don't call it that. We just, yeah. you know, we're just sharing. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, brother. Yeah, no, great. Well, thank you for the correction on what you how how I can call you. That's 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 good to know, man. You can call me anything you want. People always ask me, what should I call you? I said, I don't know. What are you comfortable with? It doesn't matter to me. Sure. Well, I'm happy to call you. I'm happy to have a walking <laughs> drone in that life. Believe me, I'm happy to be so privileged, you know. Um Thank you, Lou. Brilliant. Yeah, my pleasure, brother. Um my ex is uh, Erica uh and her daughter is um is related to Lauren by blood. Uh, and um, she's, um, uh, I'm trying to, you know, she goes by Zephyr, of course, and uh, that was his son. So she's his granddaughter, I think. And yeah. um, she, she's got a, a, a page honoring him and promoting his his uh, books and all that. I don't know if you've seen it, but I'm happy to I've send it. I've seen it. I've seen okay. it, yeah. It's, it's yeah. beautiful to have yeah. somebody um, uh, facilitate that for a beautiful soul. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And um then to to come to come back to to Bly here for a second. Um did did you ever know Bly? Did you ever re, uh see him or meet him? Yeah, okay. No, I don't so, have any of his books either. And I have yeah. lots, lots of poetry books. Sure, sure. Well he's he's oh great. Then you see that's part of the gift of today because um he the the, the his most famous book was the men's uh story that he wrote called Iron John. And it was based on a Grimm's fairy tale. And he used this as a way of teaching, uh, you know, uh, boys becoming men, men, you know, raising sons, all of this. And, you know, the uh, all the archetypes that we all go through in that dance and that in that journey in that process, etc. cetera. And uh, so, you know, you were mentioning uh, your MISC group. Uh, uh, and that is, yes. And that's that's it. Want, want you to talk a little bit about that, uh, if you would. That's that's right in that neighborhood of Bly creating that space for men. Do you want to tell people what that's about? Sure. Uh, quite a few years ago, I, when I realized my mommy issues in my tissues, I realized that I needed to, I had to, I didn't need, I don't like to use the word need. I had to, wanted to do something about that because I got sick and tired, as they say in the anonymous, is I got sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired of being yeah. empty yeah. and feeling empty and feeling picked on and feeling less than and not being enough. So uh, I started talking about the, uh, the mommy issue and I would started having events in Los Angeles. I didn't call it miscellaneous then. Uh, uh, I call it a men's healing circle or something. And there was five men that showed up. I was talking about uh, the, my mommy issue. And then I asked, is there anybody here <laughs> who has a mommy issue? And every single man raised their hand in that room. Sure, sure. Well, with that in mind, my friend, uh, a friend of mine who went to healing, I forget her name. Uh, we went to healing school together to, uh, um, uh, at the place where I was abused and hit at five years old, the Pavarola Retreat Center, which was a Pavarola school in 1966-67. So I had gone full circle. And uh, she started an organization called WISH, Women in Self-Healing. And I asked her if I could borrow that. We would trade services, and I asked if I could borrow that. And I changed it and became miscellaneous men in self-care. You know, I wanted to offer a uh, self-healing to men and i didn't even know what i was doing yet so what i did was how could i heal myself how could i heal the little boy that really wasn't here yet i hadn't integrated the little boy that i left behind at five because i didn't have the, the skills or the ability to know what to do at five 
act, right? How do I integrate that little boy with the man right here, right now? And they, the, the old saying is you can't go back. Well, I couldn't go back as a five-year-old to get the five-year-old. I had to go back as the man with the hole, right? The emptiness to get the little boy, to integrate the little boy with the man and become W-H-O-L-E, whole. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and this is what I teach a lot of people. So I, I yeah. did that and I didn't know what it was going to look like. And what it looked like was, well, what did the little boy, what was the little boy missing at five? I don't know. I don't remember. So, but I know what I'm missing now. And now if the little boy's here, I'll give what the little boy likes as a man in my yeah. present state. So I'd go yeah. to coffee houses. I go read in coffee houses. I meet friends. I take a nap. I go have ice cream or or whatever it was that I would give myself to heal the man, to heal the little boy at the same time. And it just yep. became who and what I was, am, not was, and I offer that to the man child, the woman child, in the mm -hmm. same way. I will help you, I will walk you through to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. While I was doing that here in Sedona, and maybe you've heard it, I don't know. I oh na na oh I 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 go away go away go away go away I oh na na oh I 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 go away go away go away I will love you, my child. I will love you, my child. I will love me, my child. I will love me, my child. I will, I will, I will. Oh, that's a powerful song. Beautiful. I sang that for the first time at the Skyrock, and I did a um, ceremony at Skyrock in here in Sedona on Saturday, full moon ceremony. Wow. But the first time, almost a year, it'll be a year ago in maybe January, February, I sang that song. In the lobby, they asked me how I wanted to present myself to the Skyrock. I said, well, let me come in and sing medicine songs. Yeah. And when I sang that song yeah. in, in the spirit language, because uh, I don't know what language it is other than spirit language. Some people call it something else. What yeah, happened yeah. in that room, yeah. everybody got quiet. The, the guests stopped moving around. The, the employees stopped moving around the lobby. And I could hear the... I could hear the tears that came into everybody's consciousness and their soul of their child. And I wasn't singing in English. It wasn't until afterwards when I told them what that song meant. Yeah. And the the employees at the hotel were fat flabbergasted. So yeah, it's yeah, yeah. part of my medicine to 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 really integrate the child with the adult. And there's a lot of people will say, Well, I've done the work. I do the work and I'm look, I tell them, I'm looking at you. No, you're yeah. not. Stop yeah, yeah. lying to yourself. Stop lying. Yeah. You can't lie to me, but you'll yeah. lie to yourself. Really? Really? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, so yeah, I try to help them and not try not to be judgmental in a judgmental way, but judgmental in a discerning way yeah, yeah. that I can yeah. say, I can help you if you want help. If yeah. you don't want help, you know, there's always tarot cards and crystals, right? Sure. Not sure. that there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. But that's not the medium that I use. Yeah. To heal, I use the soul. Yes. I am the soul. I yes. Hope. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, man. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Here's to it. Uh, yeah, no, thank you for, for sharing all that and, and, and singing the sacred songs, you know. And uh, to me, that's that's what it is, is, you know, the, um, you know, all the indigenous people of the world, if I can use that term, you know, lovingly. Yeah. Uh, you know, have this wisdom of Mother Earth and of Great Spirit, and they. Th this is this is what I'm I'm listening to again recently. This uh, this teacher uh, who uh, Addy uh, Lamborn, who goes by the name of Green Tara, who is channeling Divine Mother, and of course it's the same message from Divine Mother that that you just expressed there. You know, it is you, you know uh, Joni Mitchell's line: "We've got to get back to the garden." You know. Right. We've right. got to get back to Mother Earth and to open our hearts and remember why we're here, you know, and who we really are. And as you're saying, man, absolutely, there's just a lot of busyness and craziness and confusion and fear and anxiety in most people's heads at the moment that needs healing. 
the worst thing to be, I feel like in this lifetime right now, especially with everything that's going on. And I don't watch the news and I don't read the news. I don't, that doesn't serve me. Is right. Being a parrot doesn't serve those who are parrots who repeat and repeat and repeat that stuff um, because it doesn't cause anything but heartache and yeah. doubt yeah. and yeah. failure. And it repeat, it causes all of that. I'm hoping yeah. that those parrots would find somebody like you or me or Zephyr or whoever and yeah. say, you know what? Wow. What, what did he just say? What? Yeah. yeah. What? Did, what? And I, you know that their socks would come off when they hear it, you know. Yeah, yeah. And even if yeah. their socks don't come off, often they hear it, and then they have the memory of it two, three, four years later, two weeks later, two days later, two minutes later. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The, the truth soul, is the truth. The body remembers. The mind, the the body yeah. remembers. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. No, I'm just saying the truth is the truth. Yeah. And when you, you when you feel it, you know it. You know, and uh, um, you know. This is what the world is hungry and thirsty for. You know, yeah. what, what is my deep truth? Why am I here? What is my life about? Who am I? Exactly. So, yeah, man. Over the last, I've done a couple of interviews over the last weeks, and my uh, like percentage of people who are liking me or finding me really has shot up. Right. So that, that says something about um while the numbers in churches, I'm sorry to tell you that, to, sorry about the bad news, but while the numbers in churches are going down, the, the numbers in church in, in other places and temples and gatherings and circles and yeah. teepees and wherever yeah, yeah. Yeah. is going up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, man. Uh, and well, you're saying it. I mean, I, I'm, I'll, I'll just uh, give my take on it. Uh, you know, that uh, yes, the mainstream media. You know, their numbers are shrinking because all they're doing is, is selling lies, basically, and confusion and fear uh, with, a, with a hidden agenda, bless them. And our numbers in the alternative media, in being independent, I, as I said, I just uh, uh, started on to Spotify recently, and uh, I'm there because I can say at the moment, I can say whatever I want. You know, we can talk about whatever we want, whereas with Facebook and um, YouTube, it's not, it's not the same by any stretch, you know? Yeah. Today I posted on Facebook, right. what if COVID was an app? Was a, was a filter? What if COVID was a filter? And that, that rubs some people the wrong way. I don't care. So, so yeah. I'm not saying anything. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I do brother. And it's uh, you got to laugh or you'd be crying. You know, that's, the, <laughs> those are the choices. Um, yeah, um, it's it's really interesting. Do you know Aluna Joy Yaskin? Do you know no. that? Oh, okay. I, well, she, I, don't know. I know some yeah, of the people. I forget. Yeah, she's in Sedona, uh, or she was based in Sedona, and uh, she's a, a, a you know one of those white people like myself here. But she's been doing ceremony uh, and traveling to the sacred sites with our indigenous brothers, you know, for decades, Central and South America principally. And um, I'll try to dig out her last her last share from the elders. She she does real ceremony and real ritual, and she channels the elders in a way that is very credible to me. And her message from from the elders was that by the time we come to um, December thirtieth, the the curve into the new year, uh, we're really going to start seeing uh, you know uh, the gloves come off, uh, the wheels come off, the boundaries come off, right? You know. The lid come off, et cetera, et cetera. And so um, there's tremendous freedom, you know, in trusting ourselves and trusting each other. And yet, like you're saying, meeting your tribe, meeting your community, you know, having your, your proper name and your 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 living your path, you know, and knowing that and, and trusting that and, and honoring that versus everyone else who's just scrambling, you know, uh, who doesn't well, know what's going on. You know, being in Sedona, I, I, I'm amazed at how many people are scrambling. And but there's there there there's also there's snake there's snake oil salesmen sure, sure, sure buddy and they're yeah. they're trying to live their old life and their new life they're claiming the new life but they're they're confused in both you have to let go of one Rumi says yeah, yeah. Poets, yes. Rumi says yeah. uh, these are for picking up right and putting yeah. down they're not for 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 holding on look at my form uh -huh. if you can right. see it. This yeah. is PTSD. What happens okay. when I make a fist? 
right, right, right. That's PTSD. That's what okay. when a little girl is molested and she freezes and holds the freeze and mm-hmm. she becomes a girl, mm-hmm. she, she her soft tissue is is diseased and she gets fibromyalgia or lupus and she doesn't know how to heal herself. Sure, a lot and of And the that. doctors don't know how to heal her either because yeah, it's yeah. not about the, the the body physical. It's not right. about the psychological. It's about the emotional. That yeah, little girl didn't have the tools. Yeah. And yeah. now that she's older, she can find the tools. And guys like you and me, and women like you and me, and yeah. Luna, yeah. we're yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. We're here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, I love that you brought Rumi in because that's uh, that was the poet that Bly really introduced me to, I think, more deeply than, than any other poet. He's also got a great collection I want to mention here uh, with this brilliant title called The Rag and Bone Shop of the Heart, which I think is uh, someone else's uh, line of poetry. But it's it's his collection of, of poets that he loves and, and some of his yeah. own pieces. It's well worth it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, but but Rumi. The thing, the great thing, when I saw Bly, it was in L.A., and he had the drummer from The Doors, John Densmore, uh, you know, doing the drum with him. And I'd never seen a poet read with a drummer or musician in that way before. And Bly would just read the same line over and over again. Or he'd, he'd, he'd go through the poem once and then he'd go back to it again. And he'd ask you about it. And he'd say, what is this saying to you? Where is this in your life? Why are you hearing this, you know? reach for it, you know, and Rumi, uh, Rumi and Hafiz, you know, uh, these great Middle Eastern poets, uh, you know, from that indigenous culture, you know, uh, bringing their wisdom, the the depth of their uh, heart and soul, you know, it was medicine. It was absolutely medicine for the soul. And he was a, he was a great shaman. I mean, you know, when I start, when I started to call myself um, transformational sacred, walk and crow, comma, transformational sacred drum medicine. Now, when I introduce myself to audiences like at the Skyrock or even online, I say, I am transformational sacred drum medicine. I embody that. I, that is what I am. That is who I am. That is what I do as walk and crow. And I have to own that because it used to be, uh, Anthony Rodriguez, comma, walking crow, uh, Miles of Luz, transformational sacred medicine. What a mouthful. Right. There's this. I was trying to find that. my way through the darkness, right? Through the darkness of how I, how was I identified as Anthony Rodriguez? And I had to go from darkness to, well, crow medicine is about, um, uh, 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 uh the, the 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 sacred law protecting the sacred law it's about uh, uh, um, uh, manifesting and and, and um, uh, shape shifting from darkness to light darkness to light and that's that's what I had to do to to bust out of the shell or the membrane of the shell or the cocoon or whatever it was and there was the light I was the light in my own darkness and I didn't know it oh do that yes my friend yes. Yes. There's a lot of people who search externally for it, but it's not, you know, the old, yeah. the old thing. Uh, uh, it's not out there, Scully. It's out there, Scully. It's out there. No, it's not. Right. No, it's, it's in here. Mulder yeah, yeah. was wrong. He yeah, was yeah. incorrect. Sure. If he would have gone oh, inside, yeah. he would have found everything he was looking for. Yes. Yes. Brilliant. Uh, there's some, there's some line uh, somewhere. Someone says, uh, God says, I've hidden myself where people will never find me. Where's that? In their heart. You know? Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, man, that's, you know, you go with within or you go without is another one that comes to mind. And, um, you know, when life uh, breaks your heart and uh, like, uh, you know, I had the fire last year and uh, lost everything I owned and my relationship dramatically changed with uh, who I'd been living with for 13 years. And a lot of things had to be uh, started over and, uh, you know, very fragile, very gentle, very slow. You know, uh, and as I was sharing earlier, I've had a tremendous amount of love and support, and I'm I'm just nothing but grateful and thankful, um, and appreciative of what I have, and you know how it, you know it's all just a passing moment, you know, yeah. right? And um, what is important is the love that we carry in our hearts and what we can give, how we can give that to each other. Yeah. 
you know, the gratitude that you show is is, is is that I feel from you is just over the top. You know? Thank you. Uh, for those who don't know, you know, my friend Lou, like he said, lost everything. And people think losing everything is losing everything and still having their car and still having their laptop in it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Financially, I've lost everything over and over and over again. And since I made a decision and said yes to Sedona, this is where I'll be. This is what I do. Guess what's happened? A master CEO in Los Angeles, uh, uh, when COVID started, I was in L.A. We sat down on the grass in a park eating Costco pizza because there was no restaurants open. He said, I want to ask you, you went, you were talking about going to Sedona, then you disappeared. I said, yeah. He said, uh, how much did it cost you to go to Sedona? And I said, I never said I was going to um, save money in Oh, he said, how much did you save to go to Sedona? I said, I never said I was going to save to go to Sedona. I said I was going to go to Sedona. <laughs> and, um, and then I we know. saw each other probably about four months ago. We had lunch in a restaurant right. this time at a table, across the table from each other. Right. right. And he said to me, I watch you. I watch your videos. I watch your, your, your quotes. And I watch the drumming. And I watch all of that. He says, and I may just want to cry when I see you. I said, cry. Yeah, yeah. What is it about you that connects so deeply that wants to cry but won't allow yourself? I yeah. didn't say that the rest of it to him. I just said cry. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. deserve to allow the tears of to flow from our eyes, from our fifth chakra. And I often ask, often ask people that work with me, do you know? And I've had nurses that have come to see me now say, do you know where mucus comes from? And they'll where say. What? Where mucus comes from. Okay, no, go ahead. Yeah, the tears. Yeah. Tears yeah, yeah. Up, yeah. And they go, well, the, the heart, the this, the that, and milk. And the, I, but my teachings are heart, lungs, air, I love, I'm loved. Heart, lungs, air, I don't have the capacity to love. I don't have the capacity to, to be loved. Which is it? Make a choice. In the, in the womb, the sound we heard first was the sound of mother's heart. Yeah. We get pushed out at nine months, yeah. the spiritual completion, number of spiritual completion. We get pray, placed to the breast, memory. We feed from memory. We feed from mammary. Uh -huh. So that's what I teach. And they say, well, it comes from all these places. I said, when you get the flu and you're, oh, it's nasty right. stuff yeah. from here. Yeah. You know, it comes from the lungs. Those of us who walk around this mud ball with a broken heart, it shows up right. in smoking, smoking pot. It shows up in drinking. It shows up in breast augmentation, breast cancer. It shows up in so many different ways, and you'll call it something else. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know, low self-esteem comes from someplace. Oh, I need boobs because men will look at me, and then you're, you're. What, have you done anything about your daddy issue in your tissue? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smokers, have you done anything about your, your growing up and what happened when you were whatever age? Mm -hmm. I'm starting mm -hmm. to mentor people more and more. And I take mm -hmm. them to that place and they, they stop and they realize, oh, my gosh, the, healing the lineage, right? Healing mm -hmm. the lineage of who they are. Grandparents, grandmother, grandfather, great grandfather, great grandmother, and so on. Yeah. You can do that and you can listen and not get into the story about it. And get yeah. into the release and relief of it. Yeah. Whew, yeah. You can save yourself. Sure, man. A whole yeah. lot of issue, a whole lot of money on alcohol, a whole lot of, a lot of money on cigarettes. Yeah. Sure. I smoke I smoke tobacco. I, I yeah. smoked a pipe before we started. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That wasn't about smoking, that was about opening the portal to the spirit. Yeah, yeah that's beautiful. All, that's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, it's yeah, it's beautiful. And thank you for that. And it is, it is um there's a world of difference, you know, the sacred and the profane, you know, is the yeah. phrase that comes to mind. And, yeah, wow. um, it's powerful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. It is. And it's like we're saying here, man, uh, ceremony and ritual, you know, and living from integrity and uh, music and poetry and the teachings and the truths that keep being reborn, you know, generation after generation or carried on and learned and taught and learned and taught all of that, you know. Um, that's who we are. You know, that's what humanity is. It's that is that fragile gift of our culture and our soul and spirit passed along 
through our culture, you know, and, and the world has forgotten this, you know, dramatically, desperately. And uh, this whole madness that's going on with uh, making people sick and crazy and frightened and uh, fearful and, you know, walking around in a disguise to, uh, to themselves is just, you know, you and I are going like, wow, brother, that's some, some trip you got going on there, man. That's some investment, you know? How does, yeah, how does I, that I, I may, I may um, take a lot of heat for this and so what? I feel like those who have gotten sick have, have really enslaved themselves to the listening, to, yeah. not the listening, but the listening. The thinking, yeah. thinking, thinking, sure. and the squeaky wheel, you know. And sure. I don't want anybody to get sick, and I don't want anybody to die. And I'm sorry yeah. if you've been sick, and I'm sorry if people sure. around you have died. But what is it that you believe in, really? Yes. How yes, do you yes. really? Yes. No, really. And I ask yeah, people, yeah. and they get irritated with me. I rub them. I often ask, to say, make a statement. If I rub you the wrong way, I'm rubbing you the right way. Yeah. Well, if there's nothing there to get pissed off about, yeah, no, I hear you, brother. If there's nothing there to get pissed off about, then you're not holding on to anything, you know? Yeah. And people are holding on to a lot, as you said at the, at the start here. Absolutely. And, yeah. uh, you know, um, until you lose what you think you are, <laughs> right? Right. You can't know who you're meant to be. You can't be on a real walkabout, on a real vision quest until you you've got nothing to defend any longer you know until you you're just learning you're just asking you're just open you know and then spirit can can reach us i think if our, if our hearts are ready you know um i'm in sedona this week and i don't know if i'm going to gather with anybody for um thanksgiving yeah. yes yes <laughs> for thursday uh, red man's favorite holiday bless I, us um, yes. um I'm not in Los Angeles with my family, and I love my right. mother very much. I, right. And here's why. When I'm judged, when I'm there, I'm judged as a little boy, as a young man. In your family. In your family. Which tells me there's a lot of people that haven't grown up. That's hard. Grown, grown yeah. out. And it's yeah. hard. I love my brothers and sisters. But yeah, I, yeah. I would like to love them more. And I guess I do staying here and not yeah. irritating the shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm in your club, my friend. Uh, you're not alone in the black sheep of the family. Uh, right, uh, right. Yeah. Oh, and, God. Um, uh, I, you know, I call my mom, and my mom gets upset um, at them. And I, not my, what's the yeah. saying? Not my monkey. Not my, not my circus. Not my monkey. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, and man. Not on my back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's um, you know, um, it's. It's just part of the dance, you know, that we're all that we all signed up to go through. And um, I'm saying for myself, I never in my life imagined it would unfold like it is right now. And yeah. as I say, you know, it's the, the horizon is very choppy, you know. You know, the work that we do, it's funny because your, your your partner left and I, I don't know. Yeah. Your, my partner, somebody I was seeing, we're yeah. not seeing each other anymore as yeah. much as we were. Yeah. When we do the hard work and we're, we're true to ourselves, we have to, I have to listen to what they say to me. I have to listen to their self judgment. Yeah, judge yeah. Their it's funny that. Yeah. And, and what I, you know, and if I say something, there's always denial. And I'm like, I know what that looks like. I know what it sounds like. I've been sober for 30 years, so I, I know exactly what that is. But I find that I, I ask myself, am I supposed to be in a relationship? Do I want to be in a relationship? Do I know how to be in a relationship? I am so engulfed with this person, sure. Sure, sure. relationship with myself. And yeah. it's the most important relationship in my uh -huh. life. Yeah. And if you don't like that, you have to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are people yeah. who call me literally. Lou, I'm not. This, yeah. this isn't about dating or anything. Sure. Come from all over the world that want to know me, that want to meet me. Blah 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 blah. But then they start throwing up walls. Yeah. Well, yeah. You already the biggest wall is a distance between us. Why? Yeah, why yeah, would yeah. I waste my time if you're three thousand miles away? Yeah. Five thousand miles away. Whatever. I'm not going to waste my time. 
Sure, buddy. Yeah. If no, you good. want to do something about it, do something about it. Get in your car, get in your train, get in your plane, get, get in yeah, whatever, yeah. and yeah. do something about it. I'm here yeah, in yeah. Sedona because I did something about me. I did something yeah. about my situation. I did something yeah. to make me feel better about me, not to feel better about you. Right up. You're not yeah, my but, problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, um, the, the, the most important lover that I'll ever have, uh, I just like, um, uh, well, I want to say Rumi, um, because he spoke to himself like a lover. He may have been speaking to a lover. It's not, I don't know. But the most <laughs> important lover that I'll ever have is, is this, this man right here. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. And if, and if you want to love you that way, and if you feel like you can try to love me that way, great. If yeah. not, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're still yeah. friends. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, brother. Um, no, I love you 100%, man, for your, wow. your truth and your integrity. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And I never thought I would have integrity because I was a guy you didn't want to be friends with. I was a guy that wanted, you know, there was a time in Los Angeles around 30, before 30, I was living in people's million dollar homes and driving their Mercedes Benz and their Range Rovers and using their cell phones before there were cell phones and all of that stuff. I was not uh, um, the poster boy for kindness. Well, you were on a different trajectory, you know? Right? I was a poster boy for selfishness. Well, I was born yeah. in Mario. I, I wasn't accustomed to these things. So it was like, yeah. you know, being in the sandbox in, in the playground. You yeah. Know, yeah. And now yeah. it's like, you know, whatever. Every every saint has a past. Every sinner has a future. Right. You know. Uh, yeah. And uh, you know, you don't get. Uh, I mean, my joke, honestly, uh, walking crow. My joke is, I've tried everything else. You know, that's uh, that that eliminates a lot of doubt. You know, uh, when uh, you've tried it every every other way, and this is the door that uh, that opens. You know. This just came to me um, before um, any of the saints said, yes. "Oh God," they said, "Oh damn." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, hi human. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, it's deep. It's deep. It's wide, and everyone needs to get in and swim around, man. You know, and uh, right? we're just holding a space for a lot of a lot of folks that haven't realized the uh, the world is on fire, and they need to get into the water and learn how to swim. <laughs> I always say it's easy to dog paddle in the in the shallow end, but if you want to learn how to swim, you learn how to broad stroke in the deep end. That's it. That's right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 I mean, you know, I I'm I'm only five seven and a half. I used to be five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you know, six foot to me is deep in a pool, but I'll swim through okay. it. Sure. Sure. It because I know I can. Yeah. 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 Well, bless you, man. We we have to challenge ourselves every day, or we're not living the truth. Yeah. You know, if we're playing it safe, uh, it's going to come and kick our ass at some point. You know, I think that's what happened to me last year. Honestly, yeah. you know, I was dug in deep, and I was like, "I am moving." The universe is like, "Well, screw you, then. We'll move you on your own here. How about that? Okay. Yeah. Lesson learned. Thank you. Got my attention. Yeah. Thank you." Yeah. And it's a great le your lesson is not just for you, it's for all of us who, who sure. are watching who know Lou and Lou sure. Lou just sure. said, okay, uh uh um uh, uh brother Paul the apostle says yeah. if you come to a town and they don't want to hear what you have to say, you clean the dirt off of that of that town off of yourself and move on to the next. Right. And that's what happened to you. You had to clean the ash yeah. and the yeah. soot off of you of what was to move into a uh a higher state of consciousness. And I think yeah. that's what happened to you. Yeah, not thank you. you weren't uncon not that you weren't conscious. Please don't, don't mistake no, me no. for that. No, no. There are so many different la layers of consciousness, you know, um, and that's why I don't, like, as sober as I am, I don't go to meetings because if I raise my hand and say, my name's so-and-so, I'm such and such, I'm speaking to the lower state of consciousness. Yeah, I'm the same. I'm the same. vibration. So, yeah, 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 bless you. Yeah, uh, I went to meetings even here, and I, I'm saying this, and it doesn't feel right, and it doesn't, it's not really helping me, you know. So, uh, yeah. thank you, you know. Um, I, ha I have it's, an elder, it's deep, man. Over. It's deep because, yeah, go on. No, I have an elder who is, is sober, uh, a few more years more than yeah. you, 
and he would always call me out in uh, in lodge, <clears throat> and he would say to me, you know, outside of that, you know, you better go to meetings or you're going to drink. I said, whoa, 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 you're going to drink. You need to drink. Maybe I should take you to the liquor store and buy you a six pack. Don't put don't put that in my realm, right. in my world, because I walk right, right. with spirit. I don't yeah. I don't mouth that I walk with spirit. People, so I walk into the Whole Foods that's in Sedona. And I'm not going go in there for attention, but when I walk down an aisle, people turn around. I yeah, know yeah. they feel me coming through yeah. the aisle, not necessarily yeah. seeing me. So yeah, yeah, yeah. don't muddy my spiritual bigness That's by right. saying, you know, instilling fear in it because I'm not afraid of anything. Amen. Amen. And maybe I should be, I don't know, but I but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, should is a very slippery word. Right? But I love, you you said that. I love that you said that. Um yeah, brother. I mean, this is it. We're, you know, uh, you're doing the you're doing the work every morning. You know, you're you're cleaning your mind and your heart every morning. You're you're, you know, I call it crawling up to the altar. Me too. Every right? day. Yeah, it's me like, too. You too. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then then I have a fighting chance to know what uh, what I might be able to to do with myself and and how I can uh, support other people and help other people as well. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it's go on. Like the word uh, you use the word fighting chance. I stop fighting. I surrender in the typo. That's just me. <laughs> uh, there are people who who have cancer and they say I've been fighting cancer for this many years. I'll stop fighting. Yeah, yeah. Be yeah. in the allowance of what's happening to your body, because what's happening to your body is what's happening to your soul. What's happening from your emotional state, because you spend so much time up in here. Yeah. That you don't come into your body to feel what you're supposed to feel. Stop yeah. fighting. Yeah, yeah, fighting yeah. You do you love you? Why would you fight you? Sure. You know? sure. I, I I used to have asthma. I don't right. claim asthma anymore. It was womb okay. trauma. It came from womb trauma from mom and right. dad. Right. Uh, well, not even from mom, from dad. Uh his, his behavior. I don't have that anymore. I don't claim it anymore. Uh, I was uh, told that I was a diabetic. I don't take medication. I don't claim it anymore. Yeah. I'm 160 pounds. I try to eat the best I can. Do yeah. I check my sugar? Every great once in a while. But yeah. you know what? I'm a healthy being. Yeah, man. Doing. Yeah. And yeah, I'm yeah. a healthy doing being. <laughs> right on. Right on. Right on. And as Ram Dass says, and, and doobie, doobie do. So there you go. Oh. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Brother, you know, you just um, you just stand in the truth and you just call it out and you just uh, ask us to uh, to meet you, you know, and it's always a joy. Yeah, it's a joy. My, my hands and my heart are always open. Unfortunately, my mouth is always open, too, but I don't hold the energy. <laughs> it's a good mouth. I like what comes right. out right. of it. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. And um yeah, would love to hear more of your poetry, as I say, either now or anytime, uh, you know, it suits you, because uh, that's a deep place, uh, you know, to share from all of us. Yeah. Um, brilliant. Brilliant. Well, I think we I think we just arrived. What do you how do you feel? I feel good. Good, man. Me, too. Me, too. You. Anything, so anything? And honored by you all. Thank all you. Way, Lou. And I, and Thank whenever, you. There is no no when you ask. <laughs> well, I'll be asking more often then. Thank you very much. Thank well, you, you know, much. We both yeah. we both have something to offer. I don't do live yeah. shows. I, just, I used to do live shows, and then you know my my term my term came and it was time for me to stop. And I do live videos, but you know maybe it's I don't know maybe it's time to start you know uh, introducing friends uh, to the to the, to my world, and um, so they sure. can hear what I hear. Sure. See yeah, what man. I feel, what I feel. Yeah, absolutely. I'm open to that. I'm open to that. Thank you. I hope. Yeah. Yeah. Hope. Walking Crow, would you leave us with a prayer or a song? Owa a owa a owa a owa a. I am joy. I am love. I am spirit and I am light. Oa oa a oa a oa a. You are love. You are joy. You are spirit, and you are light. Oa a oa a oa a oa a. We are joy. We are love. We are spirit. 
and we are light. There is no me without you and no us without we. I hope I bring the circle full. I bring it full circle. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you, my friend. Ahimu taku asam for all our relations. Yes. <laughs> big medicine big medicine my friend big good medicine thank you yeah. brilliant thank you brilliant. thank you for the honor i'm really i'm uh, you know whenever i get to sit down with lou martin um uh, over there uh i'm honored i'm honored thank you brother thank you because i get to bring you over here <laughs> oh please do yes looking for, that's always a pleasure that's i love sedona of course yeah yeah uh, brilliant, brilliant. All right, we'll leave it in that beautiful place, sacred space. Thank you for sharing this time with us. God bless you. All right, take All care. Okay. I hope. I hope.